from your Gillespie. And we're going to play. Thanks for the time, folks. Um, thank you very much for being here today for this inaugural meeting of the Manitoba Community Board for the 2022 to 2025 uh, training. Um, I think the only person who doesn't know me is here. We've introduced each other now, so um, obviously I was actually Jacob, so I've got the privilege of being the chief executive at BODC. Um, Today we are going to see the members of the Money Top of Community Board um, who have been elected to represent up this community for the next three years make their declarations of office. The meeting today is central. Um, it's my role to chair the first part of this meeting. After that, um, as part of that, the Mayor will um, square all of you in uh, and then I will lead um, the election for the chair and deputy chair. After the chair and deputy chair have been elected, uh, the chair will take over the rest of the meeting. The rest of the meeting though, is comprised of a range of legal and procedural documents that are required to set up a functioning community board, um, and that councils and community boards across New Zealand are adopting at the moment. And we have no apologies. We note that thank Julie. Uh, and now it's a great pleasure, your worship, for you to be that will be my great vision. See how? Yeah. Right, no particular order other than alphabetical. You know? Mm -hmm. I should have declared that I will faithfully and impartially, in accordance to the best of my skill and judgment, execute and perform the best interest of Central Otago, the power, the authorities and duties vested in or imposed upon me as a member of the Central Otago District Council. By virtue of the Local Government Act 2002 or the Local Government Information and Meetings Act 1987 or any other act. Next year, next term. I, Mark Harris, declare that I will faithfully and impartially, and according to the best of my skill and judgment, execute and perform in the best interests of Central Targo, the powers, authorities, and duties vested in or imposed on me as a member of the Social uh, Central Targo District Council by virtue of the Local Government Act 2002, the Local Government Official Information and Meetings Act 1987, or any other act. Thank you. I, Robert Hathis, declare that I will faithfully and impartially and according to the best of my skill and judgment, execute and perform in the best interest of Central Otago, the power authorities and duties vested in or imposed upon me as a member of the Central Otago District Council by virtue of the Local Government Act 2002, Local Government Official Information and Meetings Act 1987, or any other act. And I don't can help declare that I will faithfully and impartially and according to the best of my skill and judgment execute and perform in the best interest of Central Otago, the powers, authorities and duty vested and or opposed by me as a member of the Central Otago District Council Council by virtue of local government act. 2002, the Local Government Official Information and Meetings Act 1987, or any other act.
Perfect. Um, I, Rebecca McCauley, declare that I will faithfully and impartially, in accordance with the best of my skill and judgment, execute and perform in the best interests of Central Otago, the powers, authorities, and duties vested in or imposed upon me as a member of the Central Otago District Council by virtue of the Local Government Act 2002, the Local Government Official Information and Meetings Act 1987, or any other act. Welcome. Thank you. Congratulations, everybody. Uh, uh, we're going to move on to agenda item 22.6.2, which is the appointment of chair and deputy chair. And I'm going to invite Wayne to come and present that report. Good evening, everyone, <coughs> and congratulations on uh, being returned. Um, okay, so, um, <coughs> so the, um, the two things to um, to do in this uh, report. The first thing is to uh, select a system for appointing the chair and deputy chair, and then the second uh, part of it is to actually elect the chair and deputy chair. So, the Local Government Act 2002 um, allows for two. Uh, options to uh, vote for a chair and a deputy chair. Um, <clears throat> uh, option A or system A is um, uh, there are uh, nominations 